Hey guys, what is up? It's Jaeger262, and I'm in World of Tanks today. I'm doing something a little bit different. Now, I've been playing World of Tanks for almost six years now, and it's one of my all-time favorite games. The reason today is so special is that every year on April Fool's, World of Tanks is something really crazy or cool. They did M24 Taffy Racing was one of the first ones I encountered in 2013. They did um, Moon Tanks. They've done a whole bunch of stuff, but this year is really special because they brought it back to update 7.0, or the very first public update of World of Tanks in 2011. Now, I started playing in 2013, so this is a little bit even before my time. But this looks exactly like it did in the old days, and I've never been more excited to be in the original garage and to see the tanks in their original models. Now, you don't have anything else unlocked. It's basically like you're just completely restarting the game from scratch. And it is just so cool. I absolutely love this. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to play a couple of games in it. But first things first, you do get 900 gold to buy whatever premium tanks you want. Now, that gold doesn't transfer to your other account, and neither do the premium tanks. It's all just on this server. And it's a limited time server. I think it's only up for three days. You do get 220,000 credits to start with and 3,000 free XP. It's not a lot, but enough to just get into the game, maybe get a couple of tier 3 or 4 tanks right away and really go at it. And this is just, it's nostalgia rama right now. This is so great. You can talk to the, um, see if it's even able to optimize <laughs> for my computer. You can talk to the enemy team again. You can um, evade artillery easier. Artillery, if you're going to play this, you can one-shot tanks again. No stun, no minimum damage. So it's just it's bringing you back straight to how World of Tanks was when it first started. So we're just going to play a Tier 1 game. My favorite Tier 1 tank, I think, if I remember right, was the Cunningham. I haven't played this game in so long. It's hard to tell. Alright, let's see if we can load into a game. Oh! And that's another thing I forgot. Sorry if I'm getting too excited. Old maps. And the reason that's important is because if anybody's played World of Tanks for a long time, the maps have really changed. If you're like me, they've gotten worse. They've removed a lot of maps because they thought that they were unbalanced, or they changed how they look, they made them smaller, they made them different, not, you know, some of them improved, some of them didn't, a lot of them got deleted, and so to see the original mines is just fun, now it's not too different than what it's always been, you're just looking at go.
Right through. my time like this is two years before I started playing and when I started playing the garage was a little bit nicer looking than this a little bit refined but everything else is essentially kind of the same and so I didn't even take a look at the tech trees and how they change but that means that we have some tanks that you won't recognize or some tanks that just see as like very special premiums that you know today or back then were just progression vehicles. I'm looking for... Oh man, what was it? There used to be a tank in here that went to the Panther line. Now I can't find it, I guess. That became a premium. That was cool. U.S. tanks. And again, only one tier 10. That was kind of like the idea for, you know, it was a heavy tank. It was one tier 10 super heavy tank, the IS-7, of course, the, the Russians, the Mouse, the Americans, that kind of thing. And there's the T-54, which I guess is still in the game, so that's not really special, but it is cool. Just to see how the original is. I'm going to record some gameplay of me doing this all day today going through it, picking up tanks, just having a good time. I'll leave some commentary in some of the videos, but mostly it'll just be footage of the old World of Tanks, World of Tanks Classic. Please check out the rest of the gameplay, or if not, uh, thank you so much for watching this far, and I'll be doing Armored Warfare videos and Gunplug videos again sometime after this event, but for now it's just all World of Tanks. So, thank you so much for watching, and like always, see you next time. Alright, back again before the gameplay because I forgot that the premium vehicles have changed a lot too. And there are some classic premium vehicles that today are, you know, you'll see some accounts being sold from the RU server for hundreds of dollars just for having these tanks and just crazy stuff because they're so rare. But the first one is the Russian light tank BTSV. And this thing was so cool. You can't preview it in this. I can't show you the model. This is a really iconic tank from when Roller Tanks first started from this update. Super cool to see that in the game. And another one that I was freaking out about, because you got the beta test KV-220, still in the game, no problem. You know, you have... There was this, the tank that the Zoo 85i, which came back to Roller Tanks two years ago, I think, in a limited run, because it's just that OP. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. There was... There it is. The Panzer IV Hydraulic. This thing became famous just because it was a unique vehicle. It actually existed, and in World War II, because the Germans were running out of fuel ideas... Uh, it's not going to let me preview it. There we go. They had to use um, water-type engines, or engines that would run solely on either water or wood, and that's what this 
vehicle is doing is a hydraulic transmission, something different. Because of that, the whole housing for the generator on the back made it all slope down in a very big back panel, which gave it this iconic look that I wish I could show you. And it's since been removed from the game. It's one of the rarest vehicles in World of Tanks. It's only been sold, I think, two times since the beginning. And it's great. That includes the um, medium tank Panzer V slash 4 Alpha. This is the tank I was looking for earlier on my German tech tree, but couldn't find it. It's because it was a premium tank, and I forgot that. This is a tank you won't find anymore. It's very cool. It was an effective scout. It was You only got it by playing the Alpha test. That's what the A stands for. And so it was even it was a rare tank even when this edition of the game came out. So that just some cool vehicles. Just wanted to show you guys things that you won't see in the game ever again. And I can't remember if the um, Americans had anything special like that. No, not really. I was hoping to see the mutant. Oh, there it is. So the M6A2E Mutant was one of the rarer tanks, just as rare as the Hydro or the BTSV. However, because of that one sale, that, like, and they've done it now, the reason I hesitate to talk about it is because it's such a bad sale, it's such a bad tactic on Wargaming, but they said they were only going to sell it one time and sold it for like a ridiculous amount of money. Then on Thanksgiving for Black Friday, a year later, they sold like an even bigger pack of tanks where it was included. And then this year, or late 2018, they sold it again as part of a special offer. So, not only is it not rare anymore, but because of all the changes made to all the tanks, whereas it was an effective vehicle in this version, and fun to play, and a little bit competitive, now it's not even really competitive. And so, it's kind of sad. But it's very cool to see that in the game as well. And then, of course, the Type 59, which you will never see in this game again they sold a special Chinese gold version a long long time ago and then they sold a special a special on it a couple of years ago like all these vehicles that I say never will come back is because they do come back it's just very rare but it was the first Chinese tank in the game and it was an absolute monster even back then so it's just cool to see the Type 59 here see these tanks I just wanted to show you guys them and I might, I might buy one of them. I don't know if I'm going to do the Hydro or the BTSV and do some gameplay in it because those are vehicles you'll never actually see again. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. Time to roll out.
Get out! Get this show on the road! Get out! 